I'm told that Joe Gruders may be standing by. He's out at the Hyatt Regency. Uh, he won his first political office tonight, and of course he is the uh, state co-chair of the Donald Trump campaigns. We're here with Joe Gruders here. I mean, I mean, what could you say about it? It's been an awesome turnout here tonight. Well, a lot of excitement, a lot of enthusiasm, and we knew it. You know, all you had to do is look at that rally and the attendance that we had yesterday. Sarasota County loves Donald Trump. We've given him our statesman of the year twice. He made his last visit to Florida right here yesterday. You know, historic record turnout for Republicans. And obviously, Sarasota County, our margin for Trump was 26,000 votes. That's 11,000 votes more than we voted for Mitt Romney and 26,000 votes more than we did for McCain. So obviously a huge night, not only for Donald Trump, but every Republican on the ballot. Big, huge night. What the local Democrats were trying to do was trying to create a farm team with the hospital board and charter review board. And what we did is we just crushed their their efforts and what essentially kicked them right off the cliff tonight and everything that they were trying to do. They actually predicted last night that they were going to win eight seats. They won one. The tax collector, which they've had for 30 years, congratulations. They didn't keep that one. And congratulations to all the Republicans in Sarasota. Just an absolutely fabulous night for us, for our team, our elected officials who have been serving Sarasota County for so long, great Republicans are the reason why we're so successful here today. It's just a great night for Republicans and a great night for Sarasota. And I expect by the time this is all over, we're going to be saying President Donald Trump. It's just an awesome, fabulous night. Now, I have to, I have to say something because I saw a tweet, actually, and I, you know, we're just kind of talking about all the Republicans. And like, just like you said, all this turnout for this update, it's at the Joe Gruder's effect. And I kind of took a liking to that because, I mean, you're right here, and it seems like, I mean, so many Republicans, yourself included, took the stage to accept the win tonight. I mean, what was that like for you and your family and just for everybody else and all the Republicans here to, to, to take a stand here in Sarasota County for the people who did vote for them and to accept the win? Well, I'm so fortunate to be the chairman, but we have so many great people who really work up and step up to the plate and do a lot of work at headquarters. We operated five headquarters this cycle. I think the Democrats only operated one or two. We had five. We had get out of the vote efforts, calls, walkers. And really, it's the cumulative effect of everything we do for two years. It's all the rallies, all the events. What we do is we recruit volunteers, bring them into the fold, and then when we need them, we pop them, we turn them loose, and to have a 26,000 vote margin at the top of the ticket is really absolutely incredible, and I can take a small part, I play a small part in that as chairman, but really it's all the Republican Party of Sarasota members, all the volunteers that sacrifice their hours and hours and hours, and I'm just so fortunate and lucky to be chairman of one of the best counties in the entire state because of what we did today in terms of delivering 26,000 votes for Donald Trump. It's a huge night for Sarasota, a huge night for all of our candidates. Hospital board, charter review board, Mike Moran, who they spent probably 100,000 dogging with negative mailers from the Florida Democrat Party, absolutely annihilated his Democrat opponent. And we kind of expected a sweep, but we had no idea that the sweep was going to be this profound. Just so happy to be a Republican in Sarasota tonight. I mean, this party's been rocking. Donald Trump is inching closer to winning the state of Florida, and I can't imagine what this place is going to be like, and it's going to erupt if he actually gets finally gets the win here in Florida. We'll keep you updated. Stay tuned with SNN, and we'll keep you updated as well as, as long as this election keeps going. Back to you guys in the studio.